I am back in my car after like a month of not being able to drive. I had to blow a fire ant or two or seven off of it. But I'm back in here. I'm very excited. I'm gonna go thrifting. I got a fresh set of contacts in. I'm wearing my new shoes and I don't really have a third thing to finish the sentence. There's a woman walking her dog. Wow, she watched me get in and out of this car like eight times. That dog cute though. <laughs> for multiple days because I just can't film anything in one day apparently it has to take me the whole week and now we're gonna dive into what I got I didn't actually say this at the beginning of the video for some reason but the things I was looking for were big trousers I wanted just big maxi skirts tablecloths curtains things that I could just get a lot of cool fabric out of to make stuff out of even though I still have not found my mom's sewing machine and I'm worried I'm gonna have to buy my own but that's a problem for another day I can never remember the last thing on my list um and silk shirts, so was the other one. I actually had a list of five or six thrift stores I wanted to go to because I didn't know there were five or six thrift stores in my city. I literally thought there was just one. But I ended up finding way more stuff there than I expected, which is good because, I mean, I love thrifting, I missed it. This is my first time going this calendar year. I have not been since Christmas break. But even though I had my mask on and my little gloves on, I just couldn't really get away from the fact that I was digging through used clothing during a pandemic. So I don't know when I will be doing that again. I had an order I wanted to go in, but I'm looking at my disheveled pile of clothes on the floor, most of which I ironed two days ago when I was supposed to film this, and then threw in a pile on the floor. So I'm just gonna work from the top down. Let me scooch over so we can share the spotlight here. I'm on my floor in front of my one available window in my room and I only get sunlight at a certain hour of day which is long past. Anyway, uh, number one. Number one is this skirt from Ann Taylor Loft, which I don't shop at, but I actually thrift a weird amount of clothes from Loft. I grabbed this skirt without even worrying about whether or not it would fit me because I really, really liked the pattern on it. It's this really cool floral that looks kind of Eastern Asian inspired without being super weird and like appropriating. So that was cool. It's my two favorite colors. It's this lovely light purple and like light blue. And something I did not realize till I got home and was looking at the tags as I was throwing everything in the washing machine is that it's 100% silk. This is a really cool skirt. It doesn't really fit. It's really tight, but it fits well enough that I'm a little hesitant to cut it up, which was really my original purpose. I just wanted the fabric. So I think I will do something with it rather than leave it as a skirt that I can't wear because it's too tight and honestly a little long. And I like this little border at the bottom too much to cut that off and just crop it. So, you know, we'll see. Next up is the first thing that I actually grabbed, which is this button-down shirt from the women's section. I actually didn't get anything from the men's section this time because the thrift store in my city really downsized the men's section, so it's like this much of the store tucked in the very back. But I got this button-down from the women's section that looks like something my uncles in Nigeria would be wearing, honestly but I actually really love it. It's got this cool, I don't even, it's like a checked pattern, but it's also, it's, the word crosshatch comes to mind, but I don't even know if that applies here. I don't really know how to describe it. It's just really, really warm 70s tones. It fits really nicely. The lapel is not huge. It's from the brand Notations Petite, and it was made in Guatemala. I know a lot of people like to like tie button downs like at the waist and wear them as a cute little I don't know, crop top, but that looks too like farm girl for me. It doesn't really look good on me. I like tucking in button downs anyway. So I'm just gonna leave it tucked in, I think. 
and probably just unbuttoned cuffed sleeves of course because the sleeves are very short yeah no, this is really cool it feels it's made of polyester but it feels very very light and smooth and airy oh it's a size eight. Oh, so this is notations petite so that makes sense next is this which is a skirt that has no chance of fitting me it's a size 12 but it's this really really cool fabric it's these really pretty blues and yellows and golds and greens on a black background it's also pretty eastern inspired now that i look at it even more so actually because of the texture of the material it's this really shiny material that's been i can embroidered on this is another thing that i grabbed without really worrying about how it fits because i just need this fabric and i think honestly all i might do is just take it in and wear it as a midi skirt but it's honestly it's a really stiff material so I probably wouldn't be all that comfortable now that I think about it, but uh, possibilities are endless. Like I said, I planned on getting stuff that I could use and upcycle and make other fun stuff out of, and I've been watching a lot of different videos of that kind of thing, but I wish I'd actually like picked some specific things I wanted to make so I could have gone in a more specific direction in the store. Not that it wouldn't matter, I'm just grabbing whatever I liked. That's life, baby. Next is this skirt that does not fit me. I'm really sad about it, actually. It's a um, midi length. Is it that thing up? It's a midi length khaki skirt, which is not really my vibe, but I saw it and I got this vision of me wearing this and like a white top and my white Reeboks and I'm sipping like an iced drink of some kind. Ooh. That's how I hold iced drinks apparently. Yeah, it's never gonna happen. It does not fit. It's very tight. It's really sad. So I have no idea what my options are here because the waist is too small so I can't crop it. Not that I would want a khaki mini skirt. I think it's even further from my vibe. But it's a lot of fabric so I could figure something out to do. Okay, next up is this. It's a jacket. It's it's really, I guess it's a jacket. Jackets are lighter than coats, usually. So yeah, I'll say this is a jacket. Also too big for me. Definitely a bad idea to buy in this 93 degree weather. But I just really liked the floral. Most of what I bought is floral, I think. <laughs> Not most of what I thought, but I, the florals were definitely a pretty big pattern of things I was drawn toward. It feels like kind of like a 1950s inspired floral, and I really like I really like the silhouette of this jacket. There's no way for me to take it in to fit me, but I grabbed it because my kind of vision was to make it into like a cape, <laughs> and I guess sew the sleeves shut and cut them off? Question mark. I don't know. I don't know if I'd even wear a cape. But the idea struck me, and it's a really nice black and white. And I, mean, I used to wear a lot of black and white, so I feel like in the winter I might lean back toward that. It also has these hidden pockets that you obviously can't see because they're hidden, but like they're very seamless, and I just, I don't know. I'm into it. I like it. It's cool. Next up is another button down actually that I grabbed right after I grabbed the first one. I was like, do I need to buy two button downs? And the answer was no, but I bought them anyway. But yeah, it's another button down in that same like warm brownish reddish 70s color palette. Actually, I'm so happy they're right next to each other. They might have been donated by the same person because the, the first one was from the brand Notations Petite. And this is from Notations Clothing Company. It's a medium. So it also fits me. I didn't try anything on. The dressing rooms weren't open and I obviously wasn't going to go in them anyway. Which wasn't really a problem because I've gotten pretty good at guessing what's going to fit me because my old uh, thrift store where I used to live did not have a fitting room regardless. So I had to guess. But yeah, it's this really cool also similarly... <laughs> <laughs> indescribable pattern it's kind of cubic C cubic cubist it reminds me of houndstooth from afar because it has the slanted like jagged edge but it's not houndstooth so if anybody knows what this pattern is called please tell me because i'm actually super into it it's got mint green like a dark sage green on a, like, a light gold background with a goldenrod stripe going through it there's a dark red like lavender kind of and there's this indigo going through it all these colors in it but they're also tiny that it kind of just melts together and it came with these uh shoulder pads you know actually okay now there are no shoulder pads i wish i had done that before the try on clip but i don't think they're really invisible same as with the other one i'm probably gonna just wear it tucked in it's a little longer than the other one so i could just wear it thrown over something but i don't really do that with i only do that with tops that are like super oversized like this one in my last video i talked about this one huge purple button down i've had forever that i don't know what to do with and so i made the smart decision to buy another one this one i justified because first of all it actually does fit and also that way if i mess up the other one i still have a backup huge purple shirt to fall back on my only gripe about this is first of all there's no tag so i don't know where it's from not that it matters but i like knowing it's part of the clothes story and the other one is that it has these awful buttons i hate these buttons so they're these really ornate or wannabe ornate brass buttons with like a rhinestone in the center and it doesn't look good it looks very cheap and they're big too so i'm gonna replace those i guess hmm. i already had a pretty big basket of things that need to be like altered sewn upcycled etc and i just bought like 600 things to add to the queue it feels really cool could not tell you what it's made of because there is no tag but it's see-through-ish very light 
It'll be great to wear. I'm like buying things to wear outside when it cools down, but it's the middle of July. So I will not be wearing things outside when it cools down for the next, what, three months? What would Good. Next up, I don't think I even have a try on clip of this because again, it's just huge and like there's no universe in which I'm going to wear this as a skirt, but I just grabbed it because I liked the blue and the purple and the green. And it's kind of an interesting floral. Not super, not my usual vibe, but I don't know. It looks a lot greener now than it did in the store. It's a little bit of a problem because I don't really like green, this shade of green with this shade of purple that much, but I'll figure something out with it. It's fine. It has like tears at the bottom. Does it? I thought it did. Girl, did I even look at this before I bought it? Like, I'm like, oh, I thought it was blue. I thought there was a ruffle. I don't even know what this looks like. And I just bought it. It's a pretty busy print. So I guess that I could make something kind of small out of it. So it wouldn't be too overpowering. I'm about to sneeze. Didn't. It didn't come. I don't know why I bought this. I think I'd like it better if it didn't have these dark stripes running through it, but it does, so I don't. So I can pick out like individual little florets that I like, but it's just kind of weird looking. But it's a wrap skirt. I'm bugging that day. There's plenty, there's not even that much fabric. I thought it was huge. That's fine. I can do something with it. I can use it as a lining. I like the idea of making a lining for my clothes. I like that I'm thinking so grand, and again, I have never used a sewing machine in my life, so we will see. Next up is this little shirt from Ann Klein. Incline sport. It looks a little sporty. I'm thinking golf, very much tennis. It's giving me country club. I don't do or attend any of those things or places, but you know, a girl can dream. I got it because, mostly because it was white and collared, and I look great in white, <laughs> and I love a good collar. And I like that it has a zipper instead of um, buttons or just not having anything. I think it's just a cooler little design. It makes it a little, a little more like streetwear. <laughs> Not that I'm a big streetwear person. I like the little stripe on the collar that adds a little dimension because the thing about white shirts is that they don't have any dimension. Everything tends to look kind of flat. Either way, I really like it. I think it can look really cute either on its own, tucked into like jeans or a skirt. Ooh, it would be so cute with like a little tennis. I don't wear tennis skirts. I don't like the little flutters, the little uh, pleats. But if I did, it'd be a look. Or I could wear it how I'm going to wear it the second it's cold enough to do so. It's gonna be under a sweater. I actually don't own a lot of crew neck sweaters, but I know it's like what the whole like e-girl look is, but my look is less e-girl and more nerdy child. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it'll work out either way. The only thing I don't like is this pocket on the front. Less because of how it looks and more because the little brads that attach it to the shirt are not covered on the inside so it's just cold and kind of sharp on my skin but I could honestly just cover that but that's a lot more work than I'm willing to do so I'll probably just deal with it. So that's Anne Klein Sport. This is the silk top I mentioned. It's kind of a travesty. When I got back from the store I threw the clothes in the washing machine on cold and it came down, grabbed the silk skirt because it seen that it was silk when I got back, but I didn't see that this was silk, so I just ran all the clothes again on sanitary and it shrank. This little white lining didn't shrink because it's polyester, but the actual outside shrank and I'm really sad about it. These kind of tones of green mixed with these like l lavender or like great purples has been a color scheme that I've been super super into lately. And it sucks because like with green and purple, there are two very specific shades that can go together and look good and every other combination looks terrible. So this shirt is in the good section of combinations of green and purple and then I shrink it. It still kind of fits, but this little, these little bits of the neckline are not sitting low enough to look good. I think it'll just take a lot of finagling around the waist, but I could probably just wear it tuck it in but it's just a really conservative neckline for me combined with like the granny print and color palette there were a lot of watercolor florals that i ended up not grabbing for different reasons but this is one that i did end up getting and i wish that i had not ruined it the last thing i got was th were these the last thing i got were these trousers that were the remaining survivors that i put back like four of the pairs of trousers before i left i don't know if that was the best idea. My hope for buying trousers was to get a pair that was just too big all over. Just too big in the waist, too big in the thighs and the legs, and like too long especially. So I could take them in at the waist and cuff them at the ankle and still have a good length to play with. And these did not end up being big enough. I grabbed a size 8, which honestly I am only size 6, so I guess I should have thought of that. But I tend to disregard the sizes on tags and stuff, especially at the thrift store where everything, some things are vintage and some things are more contemporary sizing and you really don't know. Because you really don't don't know with women's pants. It's a mystery. You never know what's gonna fit and what's gonna uh, not fit. This fit too well, which I've never said before. <laughs> so I can still take them in at the waist and have that snatched luke I'm going for, but everything I buy, no matter how well sized I think it is, everything I buy is fitted around my thighs. And my thighs are really not that big. I was doing my squats, but I stopped doing those like a month ago, so I don't know why, there's, why I'm having these problems. I do still really like the pattern on these though. It's very subtle. It's a uh, gray brown. 
brown. Gray brown with little tiny lines of like maroon and cream, I guess, running through it. And it's a nice material, it feels good. On the inside and the outside. Uh, it doesn't have that lining that lots of pants have, which I appreciate because that means I can cuff it. I don't like that feeling at all. My arms look so long in this shirt. <laughs> like, <laughs> God, I'm all arm baby. So that's everything I got. Uh, so that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. Don't if you didn't. Have a great day and I will see you next week.